Hello and welcome to WP Easy Cart. In this video tutorial we're going to walk through option sets. Uh, one of the first things and probably the most asked question we get here at Easy Cart is you want to sell products but can you have option sets on your products? Things like size or color or a different different choices that let the customer customize the product and also can those options adjust price in, in various ways and so EasyCart can definitely do those things and so we want to walk through a quick video on how to use option sets. Now the thing to keep in mind with option sets is there are two different types. There's basic option sets and there's advanced option sets. The basic option sets you can have up to five different option sets uh, per product now one set might be size and inside size or color you could have as many different options as you want but when we talk about option sets that means the entire set well, like size or color you could have five basics or unlimited advanced option sets on a product uh, so that that's the first thing you need to decide with option sets the other thing about option sets is the basic option sets can track quantity so you could actually have small blues medium greens different option combinations and easy cart can actually track those uh, quantities uh, with how many you might have in stock so let's take a look at some examples uh, it might make more sense. Let's take a look at an existing product here. This coat, for example, I'm just going to go ahead and click View, and we'll take a look at it on the store. Now, a typical product wouldn't have this, but we've attached an option set right here, and these are color swatches. Um, you can actually use image swatches, which is one of the option sets we have, and it lets the user just go through and pick different colors based on an image instead of having let's say a drop down and then add that to the cart so this is one type of option we have let's go back and take a look at this product and if we scroll down we can see option sets and you can see we have five basic options you can pick from and in this example we have shirt color and I could make the other one shirt size for example and if we flip back over to the store and refresh our product you can see now I have color and I have size and again these are using images uh, or what we call image swatches if you want to use advanced options you can have more than five but just realize you can't track the individual quantities because our advanced options have things like file uploads, text boxes, they're just not options that can track quantity per se. So what we're going to do, we're going to walk through the process of actually creating an option. So I have a test product here. I'm going to open this test product and it's just a very basic product. We can view it on the store and let's say I have this and I want to have the user select between a round watch and a square watch and right now I don't have any option sets so let's jump back to easy cart and what we do is we create the option set over here so I'll click on that and I've got two existing ones I'm going to click add new and this is where you get to pick what option type you're going to use. You can have combos, text areas, fields, uh, number fields, check boxes, quantity grids, dates. You can get really flexible options with the advanced. The two basics are for tracking quantity, again. So if you have a choice, always use the advanced if you can. And I'm going to give this just a name, just call it watch style and for the label this is what the user would see so I'm going to say select watch style is this option going to be required yes they have to make a selection and it can give an error message please select a watch style 
style. And I'm going to save this. Now we've created the option set. Now what we want to do is dive into it by clicking this little option item square. And this is where we'll actually create the items underneath it. And in this case, it'll be the round or square watch. So my first option again is going to be a round watch style. And uh, sort order, uh, I want it to be first uh, in line. You can even give it a model number extension. Uh, for example, RW for round watch. And this will get appended to the SKU or the model number. It's a, if you if you want to have that there. Uh, some other settings here. Is it going to be initially selected? No. Uh, I do want it to allow shipping. And down below, you can see we have price adjustments and weight adjustments. And I'm going to leave those empty right now. I don't want this option to change the price. So I'm going to save this. Okay. So I've got the first one. And I'll go ahead and create the second one, square watch style. It'll be number two on the list. I'll just put in SW for square watch. Uh, and this will allow shipping as well. So I'm going to save this one. So we've got an option set called watch style, and a couple different choices are underneath it. Now all we need to do is go to our products and attach it. And this makes it reusable, so you can reuse an option set over and over again. So I'm editing my product. Oops. I'm editing the wrong product. I'm going to go to my test product. And I'm going to scroll down to option sets. And you'll see in the basic options, I can't find that advanced one. So I'm going to click advanced. And now I can see my watch style option that I made, and I'm going to attach it to my product. And this this is where it allows you to attach as many different option sets as you want. Some people create kind of a small form where they collect user input, their names, any other information they need. You can get pretty complex with them. But I'm going to go ahead and update this. I've attached it to my product. And let's jump over and take a look. So if I refresh my product, I now have my watch style attached to it. And you can see they can make a choice of round or square. And if I pick a square watch and add it to my cart, you can see it will follow along with the user, the option set. Okay. So that's a pretty basic uh, run view or rundown of our option sets. Um, again, you can get really uh, complicated with them. Uh, you can you can really mix them together to collect input from your users. Uh, but again, the principle is you create the option set, you add option items to it, and then you go to the product and you. Uh, attach the option set to the product. And if we want to, let's take a look at just customizing this a little bit. Maybe I want the square watch to cost $10 more. So I could come in here and edit the square watch style. And I'll just go to price adjustment. And I'll just do a base price adjustment. Okay, and you can see that that is what's happening. Now I should be able to come back here, take a look at my test product, and you can see the round watch is $24.95, and if I pick the square watch, the price goes up by $10. And so you're actually adjusting the item uh, using option sets uh, and let's let's customers customize their their product so that's how option sets work 
Um, again, if you have any questions or a really good helpful tip is to take a look at this help icon when you're inside of option sets. This little help icon takes you to our documentation and you can get a full rundown of how to create option sets as well as all the different option types that we offer and a description of them. Uh, it talks about how to edit the option items just like we, we discussed in this video as well as uh, advanced price and weight options that you can do. So if you have any questions, check out the docs, uh, replay this video, uh, or if you really get stuck on something, always shoot us a support ticket. Thank you.